Hey, listen, pal, I make an honest living. People only come to me when they're in a desperate hey. situation. I help them out. I don't kick families out of their houses like you bums down at the bank, Jay. Jay, can I tell you huh? about the guy who... Maybe you'd like to step it. down out of the barber chair. Maybe we go outside and discuss it. What do you think? Before director Roman Polanski turned out to be a huge pervert, he made some pretty good films. And, of course, I'm referring to 1974's Chinatown. This is number 40. <laughs> This on our one, list of the 100 greatest films of all time. This is also a love letter to all of the pulp crime fiction that the U.S. produced, I think, in the 30s. It's an innocent question. No question from you is innocent, Mr. Gittes. It's a bit of an acquired taste. Yep. I mean, it's an older film. It's yeah. set in the 1930s. But Nicholson is just so damn cool. He's effortlessly cool in this thing as a private investigator who is Please. trying to... Snake Plissken. No, he doesn't. he's not Snake Plissken in this one. But he's trying to unravel this mystery, and he gets caught up in this family power struggle. And there are all kinds of other nuances and details sort of pertaining to Los Angeles history, which make this movie multifaceted and super interesting. I said I want the truth. This film is not easy to watch. It is a beautiful film, but it goes to some really dark places. It's one of those films that when you walk away from it, you don't feel good nope. about yourself. You don't feel good about the world. But you cannot help but be impressed with the filmmaking prowess and the incredible performances. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Mulray. I think there's been some misunderstanding here. There's no point in getting tough with me. I'm just I don't to... get tough with anyone, Mr. Giddies. My lawyer does. How bold is it for Nicholson, who was as vain as anybody, yeah. to do half the movie pretty much with his face bandaged over? I mean, he gets his nose broken yeah, pretty early on. Snip. And that image of him with his pork pie hat on and that big bandage across his nose is just wood burned into cinema history. I mean, you can't unsee that once you see it. Absolutely. This is one of the classics. It's number 40. Here's a review. Film geeks around the world, you can stop writing those letters to Paramount. Chinatown is now on Blu-ray. <laughs> OK, pal, let's have a set of Big smile. The 1974 masterpiece directed by Roman Polanski, considered the greatest screenplay of all time by Robert, Robert Town, Town, featuring an iconic performance by Jack Nicholson. Still as good as it ever was. Mary, how do you feel about Chinatown? Chinatown is one of the best films, I think, in the history of film. I think it's one of the most perfectly written scripts. Mm -hmm. I think it's the perfect noir thriller. It's a slow burn. The performances are beautiful. The cinematography is beautiful. It's just a great film. Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. It's just one of those movies you can watch 127 times and never, never get tired it of it. It never gets old. Always I, find a new angle, always find a new nuance. There's always something to grab onto in that film and connect with, no matter how many times you've seen it. So oh, it's so true. And I mean, I've seen it 20 times. Yeah. I was so excited to watch it again, especially on this on Blu ray. Blu -ray. It looks so good. It looks good. amazing. Yeah. It yeah. pops on the Blu ray. Yeah, it looks it fantastic. They really did a great job of transferring this film and making it a high def masterpiece, really. My God, Walsh, is that what you spent your day doing? The featurettes they have on the Blu-ray are fantastic. Most of them have been on previous releases before, but it's just so much fun to see people like Soderbergh is featured heavily in one mm -hmm. of the featurettes talking about the effect and legacy of Chinatown. And he says it better than anyone, where Chinatown is such a complicated film, but on this, the completely surface level, if you didn't understand it at all, it's still enjoyable. So congratulations, Roman Polanski. You certainly have brought some light into the world. And some darkness. Yep, number 40, it's Chinatown. Chinatown.